Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you doing? I hope you're doing great and if you're new, welcome. So today, let's talk about makeup. It's a brand new year. So far, I've seen... <laughs> it's been a couple of weeks since I've seen things that excite me in the makeup realm. <laughs> and I just wanted to show you some of the few releases that I've seen and what I think about it. And you can also let me know in the comments what you think about it. If there's something that you're excited about or something that you want to buy or you hate or you don't like if you agree with me or you don't let's chat about it in the, in the comments let me move over so i can show you some images here so the first thing i see are some lippies i see a lot of lippies from different brands coming out with different uh, finishes uh, liquid matte lipsticks uh, i've seen a lot of glosses regular lipsticks and there's a lot of them from different brands nars came out with this one and it says it's a comfortable matte lip color in a gel like formula smooth soft focus matte finish so the thing about liquid lipsticks for me in particular i have dry lips i always have dry lips <laughs> i don't know what it is it's very hard to find a liquid matte lipstick that it doesn't feel dry on my lips it's very hard i've tried many different ones and some are passable but some are just too dry and i don't know i've never tried lip products from nars i don't think but i don't know i'm hesitant about this one because i just feel like it's gonna be too dry on me <laughs> i don't know i have to watch some reviews I, I like the colors though the colors are pretty i'm gonna wait and see okay odin's eye came out with a collection of jewel it's called jewel shine singles are a whole bunch of single eyeshadows and they're all shimmers they're stunning by the way i saw a couple of videos when there it was i think it's 40 or 43 different shades and i saw videos of them being swatched and they looked so gorgeous and they're and i'm glad that they made actual singles because then you can choose the ones you want so those are very pretty and i'm very tempted about those they retail from 690 to 1490 then we got more lippy products from, from Anastasia Beverly Hills and it brings lip liners, lipsticks and lip glosses and all the shades are beautiful. I've never tried her products before. I've only tried one eyeshadow palette from her, the subculture one, but I've never tried the, her lip products. So these have very beautiful light colors, nude, pinky nude colors that I love. Those are my favorite tones. So I'm intrigued about these. So we got some new tinted moisturizers which i love i personally love bb creams and tinted moisturizers and i love tinted serums it's my go-to nowadays i don't really like full coverage anymore so i'm super glad that i'm seeing more of it there are more brands coming out with it and now mac came out with it and it's available now i think the shade range is pretty good well actually now looking at it i don't think it has enough dark shades but again it's a tinted moisturizer it's not supposed to be full coverage so i don't know if that's gonna be good for darker skin tones and it's a dewy finish so i'm gonna pass on this one because i don't like anything anything dewy <laughs> it's just i i i don't i don't need it <laughs> if it was a matte one or just a normal regular tinted moisturizer but when it says dewy i'm afraid of those because i have an oily t-zone and then it's just gonna amplify that quickly so i'll pass on this one so i think we have the first valentine's day collection already from wet and wild it brings a little quad an eyeshadow quad a lip mask a lip scrub some sponges blush a lip mask and a lip scrub also a setting spray i'm not i'm not thrilled about this one it's kind of boring <laughs> to me i don't see anything about it that i'm like happy about i'll try some palettes from wet and wild and i think they're pretty good for the price it's really good but this one doesn't really intrigue me at all it doesn't excite me at all maybe it's because of the colors they look very pastel everything looks really light so this is a huge pass for me. Now we got some full coverage concealers by Urban Decay. And this one is the Quickie Concealer. <laughs> it's available now. 
and it's a full coverage concealer by Urban Decay. Uh, it's a multi-use, one-swipe, full coverage concealer for on the go that gives you a natural skin-like finish. Up to 24 hours helps minimize the look of dark circles and blemishes, and yada yada yada. But I, I don't know. I'm a little. When it says full coverage, if it's a concealer, I tend not to buy those because they tend to be too heavy and too thick under my eyes and I don't like that look. It says it's full coverage. I'm assuming it's gonna be similar to the Tarte Shape Tape and that one's too thick and too heavy for me. So I think it's gonna be like that, but I don't know. Anything that says full coverage for concealers, um, I try to avoid. So I'm gonna have to see some reviews on this first to make up my mind. Okay, so this one I'm excited about. <laughs> and I'm surprised it's by Tarte. Actually, Tarte is coming out with two things that I'm actually excited about. Can you believe that? And this one is an eyeshadow palette. And I just love the colors. It looks like a box of chocolates. Maybe that's why I like it. <laughs> I like the shape of it. I like the colors in it. I think that it's very pretty and I'm so tempted with this palette. I, it's, I know it's like a neutral brownish type of palette but I think it's so pretty plus it's available now and it retails for $32 so the next thing I see here is by MAC they're celebrating Lunar New Year 2023 New Year Shine MAC Cosmetics and I guess it's a collection because it brings eye sh the eyeshadow palette a whole bunch of lipsticks highlighters and blushes I don't see nothing in there that I like <laughs> This is a huge ass for me. I don't really, no, no, nope. nah. Kosas has new blushes, the baked blushes, a whole bunch of colors here I see. They haven't come out yet, I don't think. But this is a brand that I've never tried anything from them. I haven't tried nothing from them and I've heard good things about them. If you like blushes, maybe you could try some of these out and let me know. <laughs> I'm not into blushes. So I don't get hyped for blushes, but if you're really into blushes, then check these out. So the next one is available now. It's by Too Faced, and they're coming out with blushes. They have a palette, they have a mascara, a setting spray. The palette is alright, I guess. It's, it's okay, it's passable. I don't really care about the blushes. I don't care about the mascara. <laughs> I'm not really excited about this either. I don't think I've ever purchased anything from Too Faced. No, bull crap. I do have a concealer from them and I didn't really like it that much. This is a huge pass. Essence came out with a huge collection actually. It brings an eye and face palette, a scrunchie, a brush duo, a plumping lip gloss, lip liner, scented nail stickers, a matte nail polish. So it has makeup and nail products in it but the colors are so light. I don't see nothing in this collection that I like, not even the nail stuff. <laughs> so this one is definitely a huge pass for me. Let me know if you like this collection or something in it because I don't see anybody liking this unless you really like very subtle looks, like very light looks. Maybe you'll pr probably like something like this, but for me, it's a huge pass. Okay, when I saw this, when this first came out, I was excited. And let me tell you why it's by color color pop and it's available now they came out with two palettes one is more like a light pink palette and then the other one's green the green one is called sage sage the day palette i was gonna get this honestly i was like i was excited for this one that was the only one that caught my attention and i was almost gonna buy it but i said let me wait and see some reviews first because ColourPop tends to be a hit or a miss sometimes you get a palette and it's good quality and then sometimes you get palette and it's okay palette and i'm like if you could do a good quality palette with a good formula why would you always gamble and you know what i mean like us as consumers we want the good stuff if you can make it then why don't you keep doing that same formula which is good why you always keep us guessing if this next palette is gonna be a good quality or if it's gonna be so-so. It's always a gamble with them. I always tend to wait first, watch some reviews first to see if people like their, the quality of it, I guess. So with this one, I waited and I saw a couple of reviews from people testing out the green palette and they were saying the same thing, that it's not ColourPop's 
good quality is the one that's okay so I was like you know what I'm gonna pass on this one because why if you could do a good formula why not stick with that same formula for every palette that way the customer knows they're gonna get something good every time but it's I don't know why they they're, they're like that I have no idea why they're like that so this one's gonna be a pass even though I was gonna get it first but after watching some reviews I'm gonna pass Juvia's Place came out with some complexion products the new, a new foundation natural radiance foundation and it retails for $23 I've never tried their foundation I've only tried their eyeshadows which are good but I've never tried their complexion products before so they came out with this and some powders I believe this is available now and it retails for $23 in case you're interested I will pass on this P. Louise came out with a huge palette it's called the blend away palette and it brings 50 shades and it retails for $49 the price is not bad because you're getting 50 shades for $49 I think that's great but when I saw this palette I could divide the palette in half and I would love one half of it and not use at all the other half that's why I'm passing on this one if I could only get that half the darker side of the palette that's the one that I like the other one I know I'm not gonna use so it's a huge pass because I'm just I'm I like one side of it I don't like the whole thing even though it's a, I think a pretty good price for P. Louise but unfortunately I'm passing on this one this next one is by CXC Beauty and when I saw this it, ca it caught my attention quickly because it is it's an x-rated palette because of the gray tones the muted gray tones and I loved it and it comes in two versions one is lighter than the other one and they retail for $59 and when I first saw it I was like oh, that's gorgeous because I love cool tone eyeshadows especially grays and silvers I love that but then I really started looking at it and it has so many repeated shades that I was like wait a minute I see way too many similar shades in each palette they could have split this in half and just not repeat shades and that would have been way better that makes more sense don't you think <laughs> this one is called heart killer by spellbound beauty i've never tried anything from this brand it's an indie brand and the colors look pretty cute like for valentine's day but i'll pass on it because i'm not that much of a pink eyeshadow person and i see a lot of pinks in here i'll pass on this one now this last one <laughs> it's not makeup makeup but i mean you need it to apply makeup so i was truly excited about this <laughs> when i saw it and it's by unearthly cosmetics and it's this gorgeous gorgeous stunning mirror that i need to get <laughs> look at it it's beautiful i need that mirror the only problem is it retails for 30 dollars <laughs> you know I'm broke after the holidays you know <laughs> it's not available yet I think it's gonna come out the 13th I think it was can't remember I saw the date somewhere it's not available yet as of today that I'm filming but it will be soon and I need to figure out how I'm gonna get it because <laughs> I want it <laughs> so that's all I saw that caught my attention or was recent when I looked through trend mood and makeup release radar if i miss something that you're excited about let me know in the comments down below because i would love to know see if i like it too that's it for this video let me know what you're gonna get from this list or if you hate everything <laughs> let me know in the comments down below so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button that helps me out a lot and i'll see you on the next video bye guys hello beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel how are you doing i hope you do <laughs> So we have another foundation by Laura Mercier. Laura must I can't say it. <laughs> Skipping this one.